Stream me up, Scotty. With the Fire TV devices, Amazon thoroughly cleans up the highly competitive field of online streaming. Especially convenient, apps like Prime Video, Netflix, and Co. are already pre-installed. You can watch in Full HD quality with the Fire TV Stick, and even in 4K with the Fire TV Box. The streaming devices are connected to the TV via HDMI. You need an active Wi-Fi connection to operate the device. A nice gimmick? The included remote controls include the Alexa Voice Assistant and can be controlled via voice command. Hi, and welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about the top three best Amazon TV sticks. There are many different options available at many different prices. We have gathered here plenty of information for you to consider, so stay tuned. In the format of a pack of chewing gum, the Amazon stick fits in any pocket. It is designed like a USB stick, except that instead of a USB port, an HDMI plug adorns the head side. Once you have plugged in the Fire TV stick into the back of your TV, the only thing missing is power. The stick gets this either via USB cable over a free USB port of the TV, or with the help of the included power adapter. Due to its compact size, the TV stick does not have any other ports. Bluetooth for remote control and WLAN for streaming are now invisible and therefore hidden in the casing. The technical performance of this TV stick from Amazon is also somewhat slimmed down compared to the set-top box. Not all video games that work with the big box will also be playable with this stick. The focus is, of course, on playing videos, but small games like LEGO Star Wars or the classic Tetris can also be played with the Amazon streaming stick. Another difference, if the Amazon Fire TV box can play movies in UHD, the limit of the TV stick is already reached at 1080p, or Full HD. Not much UHD content is currently available online, and not every TV set is technically capable of displaying the 3840 by 2160 pixels that make up UHD or 4K. Before we get to the ranking, I'd like to ask you, if you like the video so far, to leave a like, or tell us in the comments what we should do better. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any of our upcoming comparisons. And here comes the ranking now. We are beginning with the comparison winner, the Amazon Fire TV Stick with Alexa Voice Remote. Approximately $40. Very large range of functions in a small casing. Strengths. Small format, high flexibility, supports 4K and Dolby Atmos, and Bluetooth 5.0. And weaknesses, does not always run smoothly with media libraries. The Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K enables watching TV in brilliant 4K, often also called Ultra HD. It also supports the Dolby Vision, HDR and HDR10 Plus formats. The stick is also compatible with Dolby Atmos. You can thus enjoy selected content in your compatible home cinema system, almost like at the movies. The stick provides access to popular streaming services like Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Sky Ticket, Disney Plus, and many more. Practically every TV with HDMI thus becomes internet ready. The Alexa voice remote lets you conveniently control content with your voice. Setup is easy and the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K is also small enough that when installed, remains out of sight. Due to its high flexibility, you can install many Android apps on the stick to enhance your smart TV. The four preset app buttons for the deep L access to Disney+, Netflix, Amazon Music, and Amazon Prime cannot be assigned elsewhere. User reviews complain about lagging, especially in the ARD Media Library. By the way, just a friendly reminder that we have many other comparison videos, so consider having a look. And up next, the price performance winner, Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. About $40? Small and functional. Strengths, streaming in 4K, compact size, reasonable price. And weaknesses, little difference to the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K 
and hardly worthwhile with an existing smart TV. In combination with the Prime Video Payment Service, the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max naturally unfolds its greatest use. But Alexa can also be used directly via the remote control, provided an Amazon account is available. In addition, most of the well-known streaming services from other providers or the TV channel's media libraries can also be accessed. Thanks to 4K and Dolby Digital support, the stick can adequately fill the display of a high-quality TV. The only problem is that such a device probably already has a well-equipped smart TV. So the Fire Stick does not add any value. The improvements compared to the predecessor without Max are also limited. Thus, the field application of the smart TV for plugging in remains very limited. By the way, we have linked all the featured TV sticks below in the video description for even more details. And up next, we have the best seller, Amazon Fire TV Stick Lite. Approximately $20. Somewhat cheaper, but compromises on ease of use. Strengths. Inexpensive, simple installation, reacts quickly to inputs, apps for all common streaming services. And weaknesses? No volume button, no power button. 24 premium frame adjustment not available for all apps. Prime content without prime band roll. Dolby Atmos only pass through. There is no infrared transmitter and volume button. This feature is reserved for the other Fire TV models. With the Fire TV Stick Lite, you therefore need another remote control, which is then used to adjust the volume of the TV the soundbar, or an AV receiver. Conversely, if you use HDMI CEC to control the stick with the TV remote, which unfortunately only works moderately according to golem.de, you will not benefit from Alexa voice search, which requires the microphone to be in the light remote. Furthermore, according to the test, the light stick lacks two sound settings, namely dialogue amplification and night mode as well as Dolby Atmos support, only through pass-through. In short, if you value a decoder for Dolby Atmos, the aforementioned sound settings, and the higher operating comfort thanks to the volume slash power button, then the normal Fire TV stick is more recommendable for 10 US dollars more. And with that, we've reached the end of our comparison about the Amazon Fire TV sticks. And of course, each stick has its own strengths and weaknesses, which is why I've linked to each one below in the video description for more details. I hope I was able to help you a little bit deciding on your purchase, and maybe you'll tell us in the comments which product you like best, and which one you might have already decided on. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. That would really help us and the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you very soon. Goodbye.